who do you want in your kitchen on game day? Welcome to another episode of Jen Heasley's Cooking with the Pros. And today my guest is Bernie Nowartarski, and Bernie is the head coach for the Harrisburg Stampede. And the Harrisburg Stampede is a local um, arena football team, so he'll, he'll be here soon. And he actually has an amazing story, so I'm excited for Bernie to join me on set. But because my menu is so amazing, but it's probably the quickest menu I've ever had, ever, I want to give you a bunch of tailgating tips. My menu is cream and crab soup, French dip sandwiches, and pumpkin funnel cake. Now, I know that sounds amazing, but it's probably the quickest, easiest menu I've ever prepared. So here are my tailgating tips. Because this is a soup and sandwich menu, you should invite your friends over and tell them to bring crafted beers. This is a whole new rave. It's not a rave for me, but for other people, it's very popular. So what you tell your friends to do is bring their favorite crafted beer. You see I have a bunch of beers lined up here. I can't tell you what all these beers are, but you can see there's a whole variety of them. There's so many. There's local. There's national. Whatever. Tell your friends to bring a six-pack over. You share them. You swap them up. This is an amazing way to share drinks, share new, I guess, recipes as far as crafted beers. So check these out. Look into them. Amazing way to bring people into the party. The next thing you do with your crafted beers. Look at these cool, this, well, this cool six-pack. It's called Dunkel. It's local to me. It's in the New Freedom area between Pennsylvania and Maryland. So you take this and you use this as your condiment case, or condiment carrier, I should say. And you go to your local uh, restaurant supply store, get these little condiment containers, and then you decorate them yourselves. I actually had my daughters decorate these. But isn't this cool? It's my mambo sauce. My daughter decorated this. We have another one over here. Um, my other daughter, my younger daughter, did the ketchup, where she put tomatoes and sugar together. Very ingenious with a football and a helmet. So that is a really neat and ingenious way to carry your condiments. The next thing I have, these little individual containers. Later on when we do the pumpkin uh, funnel cake, I have a maple sauce and I have a regular like cheese sauce or cream cheese sauce. You sample them out so there's no waste. You do them in advance, package them up, and then you give them to your guest after you do the funnel cake and it's easy, easy, easy. And one of my best tailgating tips ever, the cup carriers that you get from McDonald's or maybe Dunkin' Donuts, whatever it might be, whatever your fast food place is, save these. These become trays at your party or tailgate. You put your drink in here, maybe your little condiments here, your sandwich, your soup, your cup of soup, which we'll talk about later in here, and it's easy to carry. The same way if we're at an event, at a football game, a baseball game, whatever, they give you a tray like this, save these. Don't steal these, please. Do not go to the sheets and steal these. Just have your friends collect them for you if you're a big party or a big tailgater, okay? And my last tip. Whenever people come to your tailgate, you always want a quick treat. This is called puppy chow. This is Chex Mix. You melt some chocolate chips, you melt some peanut butter, mix it together, toss it in with the Chex Mix, and cover it with convection sugar. This is amazing. My kids love this. All my friends love this. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm Jen Heasley. Jen Heasley's Cooking with the Pros. I will be right back. I've been playing sports and cooking food my entire life. Now I want to take you on an incredible journey to meet some outstanding athletes, try some awesome recipes with a side of tantalizing conversation. I'm Jen Heasley. This is Jen Heasley's Cooking with the Pros. So, who do you want in your kitchen on game day? Welcome back to Jen Heasley's Cooking with the Pros. I'm here with my guest, Bernie Nowartarski. Excellent. Yay, Jen. Yay, Jen. And Bernie is the head coach for the... Harrisburg Stampede. Awesome. And the Harrisburg Stampede is... I'm saying arena football, but be... Technically, indoor football. Okay. Um, there's a, a legal issue with calling it arena versus indoor, so it, it's indoor football. Indoor football, as opposed to the brash outside weather. I, I love, yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything outdoors anymore when it comes to, to football at all. It's a better climate, a better environment. 70 degrees, roof, covered, uh, perfect weather, perfect seats. That is the best way to go. All right. So real, real quick before we get into Bernie's life and what he's doing, we're going to talk about what he's preparing right now. I am uh, sauteing down some uh, red onions uh, with salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. Uh, we're going to take that off in a couple seconds because it's done. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move on to uh, the mushrooms. The mushrooms. We're sauteing the onions and the mushrooms because we are going to be making an amazing French dip sandwich. And these are some of the things you could top them with, of course. Yeah. I mean, my, my children, myself, we'd go without the onions and the mushrooms, but these are options that you can give your guests. I would go to a hot pepper. A hot, and a hot pepper. How do you like that? All right, real quick before we talk with Bernie about his career, I'm basically making the roux right now. We're going to also have some cream and crab. We talked about this as the soup and sandwich menu. I'm making the roux for the cream and crab. So you put like a third cup of flour, a third cup of butter in, mm -hmm. and you make a blonde roux. 
Look at that. Yep. Do it over like a medium heat. Right. You don't want it to burn. You don't want it to burn. Medium low, actually. But if you wanted like a gravy, a gravy, you would go darker. But we're doing a blonde roux. So, all right, real quick as you move off the um, um, onions, talk to us quickly about your career. I know you went to Kutztown University and take us from there. I did. I went to Kutztown University. From there, I went to uh, a brief stay in the NFL with uh, the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. And then I actually uh, was involved in the first year that the USFL uh, oh, okay. came out. Uh, with the Michigan Panthers. Okay. Um, and then, like most, because it is an extremely difficult business to get into, mm -hmm. um, when I got let go, I was searching for teams to be with right. and um, ended up playing a whole lot of years uh, up and down the East Coast in, in different uh, outdoor leagues. Okay. Um, and then it got to the point where it was time to start regular life. Um, so I did whatever. Regular life. I, I don't know what whatever, that means. I did what every college graduate does who. Um, Played football. I opened up a bar. No. Oh, he opened up a bar. Yeah. <laughs> this is my kind of guy, everybody. This is my kind of guy. We're clearly we're meant to be friends. Yeah, okay. <laughs> did that for quite a while, and then I got into um, working with. I, I used my education degree. Okay. And I went in instead of teaching. I, I worked at a uh, juvenile detention center. Oh, right, uh, right. In Which the Reading is... area for 13 years. Okay. And then the indoor football uh, movement thing came to present itself. There was a team coming to Reading, uh -huh. and. Uh, I was able to um, interview and get in and get the job and was there for six years and won a national championship with them. And then I uh, got moved on to uh, Harrisburg where last year we duplicated that and won another championship. Okay, so. that, okay. I'm going to interrupt you really quick. All right, so what I'm doing right now, he is sauteing, of course, or he's going to throw in the mushrooms, yeah. but he's heating up the butter. I have now moved on from my roux, my blonde roux. What you're going to do for your cream of crab soup, now this is not a light dish, Bernie. No. This is not a light dish, my friend. You're going to put in four cups of heavy cream and a cup of milk. I actually, some, it, mm, you can go with two cups of milk. Yeah. But the uh, four cups of heavy cream in itself pretty much cements this is not a light dish. Would you agree? I agree. But, you know, another day at the gym will not hurt one. No, you don't want a light dish. No, it's, it's a cold and ugly out. Exactly. exactly. We want soup and sandwiches. We're going to have hot sandwiches, hot soup. All right, so when you made your way to the Harrisburg Stampede, and let's, can, can you tell um, our viewing audience quickly who the owner is, which makes this a very unique and interesting dynamic? I Marcus guess. Colston of the uh, New Orleans Saints, who is a Harrisburg native. Uh, he went to, I uh, believe, of Susquehanna High School, mm -hmm. and um, he truly believes in giving back to the Harrisburg area, okay. um, especially the youth, the kids. Okay. Um, we do a whole lot of things with kids. In fact, today while I'm down here with you, mm -hmm. a couple of my assistant coaches and a few of my players are involved in the CFA Turnpike Tournament, which is all the youth teams from the Harrisburg areas are playing their, their playoff championship games today. And we are the one of the sponsors of that group. Oh, that's awesome. So our guys are up there today on Route 83 hanging out with kids all day at uh, football games. So. We're very community oriented, and I see that. you know it also works out pretty well when you can play well on the field and right. you know, keep a good product. And uh, we've made a huge move this year to the uh, Giant Center uh, in Hershey, right. uh, beautiful arena. Um, and we went into a new league. Uh, we're in the PIFL, which is uh, we're going to have Lehigh Valley, uh, Trenton, and Richmond in our right. division. And so, is this, division. so you're how many more teams? Are you adding different teams? We're gonna we're in a completely different league with all new teams, okay. and then okay. there's a southern division. Teams are down in Georgia, Louisiana, um, and you know way down a little further, further south. south. Yep. Okay, we'll right, see real them quick. sometimes. All right, real quick, what you do for your cream of crab soup? You're gonna put two and a half tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay is like as you know, a Maryland staple. It's a Maryland staple, and any seafood. And I got a little carried away with her. So two and a half that. But what I put in that makes this unique for me, I do a half teaspoon of oh, quarter, a half teaspoon of ground mustard. I do some parsley, and then instead of a lot of people will use you know white wine or sherry, mm -hmm. I use Worcester sauce. Worcester, I mean it's easier. It's easier and it's quicker. Right? You're gonna make me say it. Why? Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> My father used to say Worcester sour sauce. I don't know whatever that was his thing, but say it fast. No one Worcestershire sauce. And then after you bring this to a boil, you throw your lump crab in. And what I have is one pound of lump crab meat. 
So we bring this to a boil, and then after it's brought to a boil, you throw the crab meat in, and then you let it simmer for about 20 minutes. It's a really nice, I mean, this is, this is so rich, it's so delicious. I mean, this is amazing. And Bernie is working on the mushrooms. I'm gonna, and I don't, I don't know, I don't like my mushrooms real soft. No, you don't. I, I like a little, uh, a little texture to them, a little. He likes a little texture to them. Not quite where they turn, because they soak up too much of, exactly. of the liquid, um, and they will actually cook a little bit more on their own. Yeah. Bernie, give us some tips. So I do all the cooking at home. He's a, he's the cook at home. So Bernie and I will be right back. He is going to finish up sauteing. We're going to move on to some of our crackers, and we're going to finish our soup. We're going to move on to our um, sandwiches, and we'll be right back. So welcome back, Bernie. Back. Bernie, he's happy to be back as well. All right. So Bernie and I have put together our cream and crab soup. Yes. Bernie sauteed up our onions and our mushrooms for our French dip sandwiches. How do you feel about that, though? Everything's ready to go. <laughs> smells good. Uh, your juice sauce out. It smells wonderful. We're working on the juice for our French dip sandwiches, and Bernie's going to work on these, what I have learned are amazing oyster crackers that we're going to use for our cream of crab soup. Real simple. It is real simple. Yep. We're going to take a uh, half cup of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to take some garlic powder. We're going to take some Old Bay. I guess you would play with these measurements. You would work it up, yeah. The Old Bay like. was like about two and a half tablespoons. And mix that around a little bit just to get it. Right. We threw in some mustard, some ground yeah, mustard. Yeah, and some ground mustard, I'm sorry. But the thing is, that what we put on the crackers complements the soup. Yeah. It's like the same, basically like the same seasoning, so it all complements one another. And I understand they're pretty good on their own. And they're pretty good on their own. You know, sometimes when you do production, you have food offset. And apparently the production guys think that I should like market this. So that's my next step, marketing the crackers. What we're gonna do is add some crackers. Get them mixed around a little bit. Toss around. Add in the rest of those crackers. Bernie has agreed to be an additional sous chef on top of Dr. Craig. Those of you who don't know Dr. Craig, but he's now agreeing to be another sous chef. So I have two shoes, more two than, sous chefs in the making. More than happy to make this trip down the road. Makes me happy. Okay. So he's working on this with the au jus, real quick so we can move real forward. With the au jus, you know, we did a, a roux, yes. but we did a dark roux. The blonde roux is what I did for the crab, um, the cream of crab soup. A dark roux, you just let it go a little bit longer so you get a golden brown color. Then I threw in two cans of beef consomme, yes. which means it has a little more gelatin, there's a little more fat into it. But then I also put in a little beef, a beef stock or beef, you know, broth, either way. But the key is, what's the key, Bernie? The end. The uh, end, what we put in there? Uh, Fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. Three cloves of fresh garlic sets it through the roof. And we put some um, ground pepper, pepper as well. And we're going to dip our stuff, our stuff, our roast beef. <laughs> we're going to dip our roast beef in. So real quick, while I'm talking about this, you bring us up to speed. You had a championship team last year. Yes, we did. Uh, we finished up 9-2. and two. Uh, We played awesome. York in the uh, playoff, first playoff game, won that. And able to get to the championship game, which we played in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, against the Cape Fear heroes, um, Cape Fear. who actually gave us the two losses during, oh, oh, oh. during the season. Oh wow! Um, A comeback win, and <laughs> in, in in their stadium. Um, Come back after that game. So we did went down to North Carolina and uh, came home with a, a championship cup, yeah. and um, we're still waiting on our rings to come in. They should be here. What uh, takes time to craft them? It, it does. Uh, they actually came in wrong the first time. Oh, it's the second round. <laughs> had to go back. But, um, we're waiting on those to come in. So Are they like bejeweled, bedazzled? Yes. Are they, oh, they're bedazzled and bejeweled. Yes, right. they, they will. You can set a drink on them. Oh, and that's awesome. Yeah, they'll be the big, gaudy, bulky one. That, right. Yeah, big athletic ring. Athletic. And um, <laughs> it's going to be real nice. It'll be real nice. Uh, and then we're, you know, uh, what came from there then is trying to re-sign players and get ready for this yeah. year. Right. Uh, and then look for players. I certainly right. have Recruit. a few that will probably retire because they have a ring. Okay. Um, retire. Yeah. How old are they retiring? Uh, it all depends. Uh, I've got guys in their early 20s, and then we have okay. guys that have made it, uh, you know, are, have not moved up a level, okay. and, you know, it's time to get into real life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the commute and the drive and giving up six months of, of your life every right. season gets, uh, you know, at some point you've got to take care of. of take care of home, maybe. Yeah. All right, real quick, as you're doing this. So Bernie's throwing on some dry parsley yep. to his um, oyster crackers. Spread them out on a paper with some, or on a pan with some parchment. 
parchment paper, it makes it easy clean it, easy clean up. All right, for our French dip sandwiches, all I do is I go to the grocery store to the deli counter and I get probably one of the higher end um, roast beef cuts and I portion them off. What I have here is essentially, this is about a quarter pound each, what I have them on my plate. And I will season it with some salt and some pepper. I pour it on the pepper, a little bit of salt. And here is where the magic happens, Bernie. The magic. I will take this, and oh, I'm sorry, and you get some garlic rolls, Italian rolls like this, and you take your beautiful roast beef, you dip it into the au jus, as such, with my tongs. The tongs are like my favorite kitchen um, utensil. You had to be a dip. At, at tongs? No. <laughs> at, at <a> <laughs> yeah, I had them at tongs, everyone. And you beautifully place it into your Italian roll. Clearly, I, there we go. Yeah, I'm skilled. I know, it's like, <laughs> you like get it in there, Jen, get it in there. All right, and I will do all. We have like six rolls here. Then you top it off with either our onions, onions mushrooms, mushrooms, or both. Or both, or you can mix them up or none because my daughters will be like, oh my gosh, mom, please, you're taking me down. And then we top it off with our oh, provolone cheese. You top this off with provolone cheese, whatever you, however you mix and match, and you throw it under the broiler. Melt that up. Isn't that amazing? So that is our French dip sandwich, and we'll pull it out, we'll dip it into the au jus, it'll be fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. What do you think about um, as you move forward? Because I want you to quickly talk about what you've been through over the last couple of years. Well, the, you know, on a harder note, um, two years ago, at the, uh, about a week before the season started, um, I was diagnosed with a blood cancer called multiple myeloma. Uh, had no idea what it was, never heard of it before. Um, I was basically going in for a general physical. Mm -hmm. um, everything came back real good, except uh, one part of my blood work was a little off. So my doctor said, I need you to go see this doctor. Uh, we went and visited a uh, guy named Dr. Revito okay. uh, at St. Joseph's Medical in Reading. Okay. Um, had to get some more blood work. He said, go home, enjoy the weekend, you know, have a good time. Uh, so I didn't think anything of it. We went back in the following week. Uh, for the follow-up, and he said uh, what I had, which I had never heard of it right. before. Right. Um, I thought he was telling me that I had arthritis, uh, right. or I needed a hip replacement just because of the years of sports. And, right, right. Um, you know, and he explained what it was. My wife was sitting there crying. I'm like, why is she crying over a... Right, she uh, was aware. She's a medical Yeah, she family. knew what it was. So uh, he explained it to me. It took me about 30 seconds to swallow it. And uh, I said, what do we do next? And he explained that I would have to get a bone marrow biopsy. And I had him explain what that was. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to physically go into your bone and pull some of your bone marrow out. Uh, I said, where would you do that? He said, well, I would do it here. I said, then go get your tools. And we did it right there in the office uh, within 10 minutes of finding out. Um, I asked him, then what's the next step after that? He said, to start chemotherapy. Um, he said, we'll get that set up too. And mm -hmm. you know, a little while, I said, nope, we're... We're going to do it right away. So okay. uh, two days later, I started my chemo treatments. I did them for nine months. Um, then I had to take some time off to let counts build up. Mm -hmm. And then I had a, uh, in September of last year, I had a stem cell uh, transplant. Okay. Um, same thing that Robin Roberts had. Robin Roberts Actually, had. Actually, we have her band oh, awesome. that we wear. Okay. Um, that was, and that's my band uh, for the color for my Loma. Okay. And, um, after that, uh, they, again, you take a little bit of a break, and now I'm on a maintenance chemo, mm -hmm. uh, which is Revlimid. <clears throat> During that time period, I didn't okay. miss practices, didn't miss games. So, okay, so he's been a champion, and we're gonna be right back to talk more about this. Pull up with our meal and um, wrap this up. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We're about to have some soup and sandwiches. Everything looks like it's all set to go. We're going to have some soup with the homemade croutons, um, which complement the soup excellently. Beautifully. And then we are going to have our French dip sandwich, ding, ding, which ding. has mushrooms and onions on, into the out juice, with your favorite beverage in a gen koozie. Hold that up so that, <laughs> no, wait, let's put that on, on, real, on real real camera like that. There, there you, you go. go. Jen, he's like, cooking with the pro. Love it, love it, love it. You can have this too for your beer. Or, or your soda, or your water. Let's not be Favorite crazy. beverage. Favorite beverage, favorite beverage, okay. So I'm gonna get you some soup. So we have some cream of crab. We're gonna top it with a little bit of the um, oyster crackers. And you wanna put a little dollop of some fresh um, crab meat. Yep. I will get a spoon. You will get, you grab your spoon. 
Now, what am I doing here? I'm putting this into a cup, not a bowl, but a styrofoam cup. It makes it so much easier when you're out tailgating to use a cup as opposed to this. I was gonna say, because we're talking about tailgating again. This, no. This, yes. So throw some more. Put some of them in there. Get some in there. There we go. Right, give it a try, give it a try, give it a try, give it a try. We didn't give you any fresh crab meat, but just go with that. That's all right. All right, while he's trying that, here is our dessert. We are doing funnel cake. If you remember at the beginning, I talked about our containers that yes. you can get at Sam's or whatever your wholesale um, restaurant supply store. And I put my um, pumpkin funnel cake mixture in here. Yes. You can go on to Jen Heasley, cookingwiththepros.net, my um, website, and you'll be able to get this recipe. So Very easy. And how was the crab? Outstanding. Outstanding. Let's talk about the sandwich now. That's the, the next one. we got to get some juice. And what I'm doing with my funnel cake is I'm putting it into a 350 degree oil. Real quick, you fry it up. Mm. So I got to eat on the first date. <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> a first date response. That is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. I the, don't um, know what that's like anymore. But the, the garlic <laughs> absolutely makes that juice. Right? Yeah, I'll do it, it. It hits it up enough, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So what I'm doing is I have my uh, funnel cake. And then remember at the beginning of the show, I talked about my little containers. Yes. And you portion out. This is maple, a maple cream cheese sauce. And this is just a regular cream cheese sauce. That is portion control. People waste. This is awesome. Like whenever you're, if you're a person that has a lot of parties or a lot of tailgates, it's really best to go out to your wholesale providers and purchase these items that allow you to make sure that everyone has these little sample sizes. And easy cleanup. Easy cleanup, easy, easy, easy. All right, so I am Jen Heasley. Jen Heasley is cooking with the pros. And who? Bernie, do you Bernie. want in your kitchen? Uh, you, Jen. On game day, thank you. So Bernie and I will see you soon. Take care. Right, thank you. Our friends in central Pennsylvania. Goodbye.